vitamin deficiencies and costochondritis. Um, I just want to put it out there that it's definitely something that everyone should look into. Uh, you need to get your iron levels checked, uh, your B12 levels, magnesium, vitamin K, potassium, and um, yeah, that about covers it. <laughs> so there's definitely something to look into is they can also cause chest pain. And once you're able to figure out if you do have a deficiency that could be causing your costochondritis or be attributing to it, then you can go from there and figure out what's causing that deficiency. So anyway, just putting it out there, that's definitely something to look into. Uh, magnesium for sure is something to look into as um, I've seen that it's alleviated a lot of people's chest pain once they've started taking magnesium supplements. So anywho, putting that out there and quick reminder to not ignore um, other symptoms that your body's uh, shouting at you about, you know, if you've got a leg cramp here and there or a, some kind of a zing or a zang somewhere else in your body, you know, don't ignore it, write those down and um, so that you can continue to put the pieces of, of your puzzle together as you continue on your journey to healing. Do -do 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 -do. So anyway, that's just a quick post. I just want to encourage everyone to look into uh, your deficiencies of vitamins and minerals and make sure that your body is getting what it needs and it's not crying out for help um, if, by giving you costochondritis, which sucks. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.